Welcome back into another episode of the Huskers Radio Network podcast. Our newcomer series continues and the fourth and final Husker women's basketball newcomer, but the transfer, we talked to the three freshmen, now we talk to the transfer edition out of the transfer portal and from Florida, coming most recently from Florida, Alberte Rimdahl, but you go by Birdie, right? Yes, yeah. Just Birdie. And so Husker fans are, are rooting for you, just Birdie's all right, right? Birdie is perfect. <laughs> well, welcome to Lincoln. You just got here this week. Uh, how's it been settling in this week? It's been awesome. I am just so excited to be here. Yeah. You just got back from Denmark, right? You got to got to go back home and spend some time with the family. How was that? It was awesome. I was home for about two months, just spending time with my family, hanging out. It was awesome. Did it give you, you know, it can be such a grind to do a college basketball season. Did it give you a, a little bit of a reset? A re, you feel rejuvenated? Yeah, back? I feel ready to just work and give my everything. So how was it just getting right into the gym? We saw a social media video yesterday. Yeah. You're doing synchronized three-pointers with Brit Prince. Uh, <laughs> how, how has it been getting into the gym? Oh, it's been awesome. I've just been so excited, and I'm just eager to learn all the plays, everything, just play with the girls. They're all super nice, and the coaches, so, so excited. So you transferred from Florida. Take us through that decision to, to go to decide to transfer, to get into the transfer portal, and then how you landed on Nebraska. Yeah, so uh, it was a hard decision, of course. I've been at Florida for three years, uh, but I was just ready to find a new home. And then when I started to talk to uh, Nebraska, it just felt like home from the start. And when I came to visit here, I just, the girls were super nice. All the coaches was just super sweet and cool. And, I like how disciplined it is. I like the program and where it's going. So I'm just so excited oh, to finally awesome. be here. You can see. You, you seem so joyful. Uh, yes. I got it. Did you work with Julian Asibe then? Yes. Yes, yeah. I did. He was my assistant coach for the, my freshman and sophomore year at Florida. How nice was that, just having somebody that you had a relationship with, you trusted? Because, you know, we talked to a lot of the transfer portal athletes, and I know it can be probably overwhelming, but to already have that relationship with Coach Asibe, how nice yeah, was that? Yeah, it was so nice because he is just such a sweet and positive person, so I was just so happy that he was here, too. It was just perfect. He's got such a fun personality, infectious personality. Uh, what's it like playing for him? Uh, what is it that sets him apart as a, as a coach? Oh, he is just always positive. He has such great energy. He is just so smiley all the time. So it's just like great to be around him. Veteran guard, shooter, um, you know, Coach Williams likes to have guards that are versatile, that can do a lot of things. How much when you were diving into also just the, the system that's in place here that you felt like your game would, would translate to what the Huskers do. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. I've watched a lot of the Nebraska's games last year because I was, when I was trying to find out what school I was, would fit in. So I'm just so excited. I like the way they play. They play together. They shoot a lot of threes. They have great post players. So I just feel like it's, it's a perfect program. You are a three-point shooter. Mm -hmm. um, I read you, you had a quote somewhere that said, um, I can shoot all day long. I, I love to put in the work. Where does that come from? Why do, you, why do you just love to shoot, shoot, shoot? I don't know. I have, um, I work very hard. I could just stay in the gym all day, honestly. Um, I love to shoot. I, I love the process of working and just seeing development and stuff like that. So yeah, I just love being in the gym. You have a, you come from a basketball family, right? Tell us about that. Yeah, my dad used to play basketball. My big sister started playing and then I started playing in second grade where my dad was my first coach. Uh, so I just played with my, all my uh, friends from school and now my brother plays too. Uh, so everybody plays. How was dad as a coach? It was fun. It was cool. Uh, he's a great coach. He taught me a lot of stuff. So that was nice. What was it when you started playing and, and again, coming from a basketball family, but what was it where you found your own love for it, that, that you fell in love with the game? Yeah, I think I'm just, I am a com very competitive player. So um, just always wanting to be better and wanting to be better than the next person. And I just, I looked up to a lot of uh, the girls from national team. And so I just wanted to be as them, like as good as them. And I wanted to go to college. So I just think that's where my love is. That's awesome. When you start, you know, getting into the, the later years and, and thinking about, okay, what, what's next for me? Take us through just the, the process and the decision to want to play college basketball in the United States and yeah. how that all unfolded for you. Yeah, so in Denmark, uh, basketball is not that big of a sport. 
Um, so if you want to have an education at the same time as playing as at the best level, a college is just the perfect way. Um, so I knew that very early I wanted to play. Uh, and then after college, I want to play professional. That's awesome. Yeah. So what, how, what's the, um, I guess, access to watching sports in Denmark and, and women's basketball and college basketball? Oh, it's kind of hard to yeah. watch that, honestly, because you need to have, like, all these, like, I don't even know what it's, like, all the Big Ten, like, networks, all that. So you can't just watch it on the TV. You have to find ways around. So what was that adjustment like then um, when you got to college and, and figuring out how to play at this level? Oh, it was different. Uh, a lot different people. Uh, well, I played in the SEC. Uh, it was a lot of athletic girls, um, faster pace, just more physical. So I had to, yeah, it was a, a, big, a big difference, but very nice difference. You played for the, the national team, the Danish mm -hmm. uh, women's national team. What What's that like? How much did that help you uh, grow into the player and, and push you and, and I guess improve your game? Oh, that helped a lot. I love playing for my national team. We play against the, the best players in the world, Europe. We, we went to Japan last year, got to play them. So it's just awesome to get to see different places, get to play against different countries. And yeah, it teaches you a lot. Not a lot of people get that opportunity. What's it like to, to represent your country? It's got to be a lot of pride. Oh, it is a lot of pride. I just love to wear Denmark across my chest and just play my heart out. So being that uh, you know, you're coming in, you have some experience coming from the SEC, what, what do you hope to bring to this team and, and how do you go about fitting in and, and finding your role? Yeah, uh, so I think I can bring a lot to the table. I, am, I can shoot the three very well. I have some experience. Um, yeah, I'm just excited. I can bring it up the floor. I can just be whatever they want me to be. And I love to play defense too. Oh, I yes. really like that. It just it seems to be a common theme when you talk to the women's basketball players about the culture and how close knit they are, and, and a lot of people say that, but it just seems different. So I guess what's your perspective of that, and, and how important was that for you to, when you decided to transfer? It was it was very important. When I came on my visit here, I could just feel how all the girls were just like like this. It was just so cool to be around and. I just wanted to be a part of that. They are all so genuine and they just love each other. So that's just amazing to be a part of. You're established, you've played a lot of college basketball, incredible shooter, but what part of your game are you looking to improve to maybe get better at going into to this season? Yeah, I'm looking to improve on like creating my own shots, uh, just reading the defense, finding the, the right solutions and reads, yeah. The, I mentioned that you had a, there's a video out on social media with you and, and Britt Prince and uh, local kid. Everybody's excited for her. But how excited are you about the talent and the potential of this basketball team and, and what you guys can maybe do this season? I'm so excited. They had an awesome season last year, so I'm just excited to build on that. Uh, yeah, as you said, they have some great freshmen coming in. So, yeah, and I have been practicing the last three days with them. It's just been awesome, and I'm just so excited to see where we can go this year. You seem like such a happy and joyful person. Like you're <laughs> smiling the whole time. What, what makes you that way? I, I'm just happy. I'm just happy to finally be here. I'm, also, I'm always positive, honestly. I see the good in everything. I love that. I love that. Well, welcome. Uh, so glad to have you here. Thank and you. And look forward to, to big things coming up from you and uh, Nebraska women's basketball coming up this season. Thank you so much. Again, that is Birdie. Birdie, right? Uh, with Nebraska women's basketball, one of the newcomers here, transfer out of Florida. This has been a part of our newcomer series right here on the Huskers Radio Network podcast. And this episode is brought to you by Emeritus, who's proud to power, the, proud to power this podcast and all of Husker women's sports. Thanks for listening and watching.